Um, you know what? I look at it like this. That's good business. If you can stay on top as champion for three years and you barely have to wrestle, but your presence is still there and you still are top box office to draw, no matter if you're if there or not, your, your company is still making money off of you and your name. I think that's good business. Everybody wants a business that they can put on autopilot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Show up when they want to and and still make big money everybody wants to live like roman reigns is living at his job right now mm. you know what i'm saying mr everything if you can go into your job right now and do one training session a week and make your entire yearly income in one day would you do it or would you show it every day what do you think i'm trying what do you think i'm doing now <laughs> <laughs> At that point, bro. I told one day he told me Michael Jordan's old trainer cost thirty-five thousand dollars an hour. Thousand an hour. I want that life. I'm working hard to try to get that life. I'm contacting companies, organizations, uh, houses. Uh, again, it's saying I'm contacting everybody. Look, look, like, hey man, you ready to go to war? I mean, let me get you guys in shape. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Man, yeah, if you was getting thirty to fifty thousand dollars per match, man, you know what I'm saying? It'll, it'll change, it'll change your whole, your whole dynamic. Listen, and then, and then the biggest thing that we got to take away from it is what Roman Reigns is doing. You can't deny. L and LP just showed it. He is pissing you off to where you're saying, you know what? I can't stand him. I hope he loses the title. And it's causing you to watch every single week, whether you know he's going to be up there or not. And it's always like a surprise. Like, oh, well, Roman showed up for work today. Okay, let's see what's going to happen. <laughs> but he's doing exactly what he needs to do to make you go in there and say, you know what? I want to go up here and see if he's going to show up. He's going to get his ass kicked. I know he's not. I know he's going to cheat some kind of way. But you know what? I'm gonna watch anyway, and I'm gonna complain about it. I'm gonna say, you know what? I can't stand them. I ain't gonna watch it no more. Click. Stop. Oh, yep. I ain't here no more. So you know he, they, they're doing exactly what they need to do, and that's and that's the beauty of professional wrestling is drawing the emotion from the fans in the most smallest ways. As a heel, you can get them to look at uh, Dominic. He. You ready to get on the mic and they boo the hell out of him. Simple as that. Hell tonight. He up, Let me talk to you. And they go bananas. He didn't say nothing. Cody Rose, what do you want to talk about? Now, can we talk about the, about the fact that's the same damn thing? Let me talk to you. What do you want to talk about? It's the same damn thing. But it's over. It's hell. It's over. And it's, it's working. So, yeah, that's my, my quick um uh what's the word uh rant against lp's rant <laughs> oh man it, like i said man i think that i'm not mad at what roman is doing because like i said i'm i'm, I'm tuning into wrestling more than i ever have you know what i'm saying and, and it's much mostly because of the bloodline but it's an exciting time in wrestling right now so you know it's it's kind of hard to be on top especially when you got this level of talent. You know what I'm saying? Now, the difference between the WWE of now and the WWE of old is you have larger-than-life characters and storylines and storytelling that was really good. Uh, but the talent level wasn't that great. You know what I'm saying? Now you have all of these talented cats that are just sitting there with nothing to do and they're waiting for a character and storyline. Or they already have a character and they're waiting for a storyline. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So that's the challenge now because yeah, some of these people are ultra talented, man. Like one of the matches we got on the card, we got Ricochet versus Logan Paul, which I keep saying, it's, they keep saying it's going to be viral, but it's going to be a great match. It's going to be some highlights in that match. It's going to be some, oh, my God, did you see that type stuff in that match? And I can definitely see Ricochet leading this and also 
selling like hell for Logan Paul to make him look good. You know what I'm saying? So I think that this match is going to be good. Uh, real quick, Ricochet versus Logan Paul, Mr. Everything, who you got? I got to give it to Ricochet because um, he needs a win. Logan Paul really doesn't need a win. Uh, it's going to be a very hard match for Logan Paul, though. And I say that because he's wrestled Roman Reigns, who wrestles kind of slowly. You know, he's not not slow, but, you know, he's not going to do a bunch of movement. Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. Who can do a bunch of movement, but he keeps it pretty basic and he turns it up just a little bit. Ricochet is full-blown balls to the wall. You know, it's why he's called Ricochet. He just bounces all over the place. Um, mm -hmm. So Logan Paul is going to really have to step it up because you don't want to slow Ricochet down to, you know, accommodate Logan Paul and it's because it's going to show. It's going to show right. that Ricochet had to slow down. I mean, look at the the spot they did at uh, Money in the Bank when they went to go do the Spanish fly and it didn't work and it's, their footing got off because Logan Paul just wasn't in position. He and, right. and Ricochet had to adjust himself to make sure that man did not get hurt. And it showed. So... Um, I got to give it to Ricochet. Ricochet needs to win. Yeah, Ricochet needs to win this. Um, he needs to win this for the wrestling fans. And I think that's what this is. It's like wrestling versus uh, the outsiders. You know what I'm saying? And that's exactly what this match is. I'm pulling for Ricochet. I think Logan Paul is going to pull out some great moves during this, uh, during this fight, man. But I hope really, I hope Ricochet takes this because Ricochet needs this win. Uh, we also got Oscar versus Charlotte versus Bianca on this uh, this card. I got my money on Charlotte Flair. I don't you don't even need to ask me what I got my money on. Well, Mr. Everything, who you got your money on? Oscar versus Charlotte versus Bianca Belair. Uh, I got my money on Oscar, and then um, I have Bianca and 